Hey, hey, welcome to the Bendig Theater Experience. I'm Blake. I'm Sydney. Let's, Let's get, get creating. Today's performance target is we will learn what props are and how to construct them. This is going to be a fun one. A prop is something that an actor uses on stage. It could be a broom that a witch carries. Mary Poppins umbrella. Uh, Aladdin's magic lamp. These are only a few examples of a prop. Props can be categorized differently depending on the prop. Um, they can sometimes be categorized as a costume piece or a scenery piece. So it's up for the production team to communicate and decide which part of the production team mm -hmm. is responsible for the prop. For example, Mary Poppins' umbrella is a prop, but it can be seen as a costume piece. So who would be responsible for creating the umbrella? The costume team or the props master? The answer is is that there is no clear answer. It's up to the production team to communicate on who should be creating the prop. So Sydney, you mentioned a props master. What is that? A props master is the person who's responsible for all the props. They are responsible for creating any or all props, as well as acquiring them if they have to be purchased. Once all the props are collected, it's up to the prop master to keep them organized and make sure they're used correctly. But don't get me wrong, the Props Master does not do this alone. No, they do not. They have a team to help them with all of these tasks. Now, similar to props being considered a costume piece, some props can also be considered as scenery. For example, a couch. Who gets it? Again, it's up to the production team to decide. If scenery doesn't have enough time to get one, but props does, then the tasks will go to props and vice versa. Like we said, props can get a little confusing. But with proper communication, it can be pretty easy to figure out. We're not just gonna talk about props, we're gonna make one. We're gonna be creating Horton's Clover from Susical the Musical. So Horton's Clover is a very important prop in terms of telling the story of the show. So I'm pretty excited that you're gonna see how we can possibly make one. Now we'll be right back with our supplies. So now we need to check everything off the list to make sure we have everything, so. Styrofoam ball. Check. Feather boa. Check. Um, pipe cleaners. Check, 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 and check. Hot glue and hot glue gun. Glue gun. Check. We got the hot glue stick. Stick, check. We have our stick. Stick. And paint. Paint. Okay, so now we have everything so we can get started. would be to make our rod the way we want it to look. So now we're going to hot glue our pipe cleaners all around the stick. feathered it up pretty good. We're just gonna stick it in, create the hole, take this out, hot glue the top of it, then stick it back in, and hopefully it will be pretty solid. So now I think we are pretty content with our clover. 
let us know what you guys think about it. So the props master would make the prop and then they would present it to the production team, most likely the director, and it would be the director's job to say, hey, this works and we'll start rehearsing with it. If that's the case, then it's your responsibility. You are in charge of making sure that um, no one touches the prop except yourself, the prop master, and the actor that actually holds the prop on stage. So for this case, it would be Horton, um, Vlad, like he steals it at some point, and then Gertrude brings it back. So those are the only three cast members that should be touching it, as well as possibly the cat in the hat regarding how you stage your production of Suzical. Um, so for example, if I was a director and I received this prop, mm -hmm. um, I would probably say that we need to put something on here to cover the pipe cleaners, because the ends of the pipe cleaners that we use to wrap the stick, they stick out, so when an actor holds it, he's kind of getting a little prick in his forehand, in his hands. So you might want to do something else with that, and then we might have a problem in rehearsal with feathers getting everywhere, because you can see it when I shake it little feather remnants pop out everywhere. So it might be that we have to give the clover a little haircut. But at this moment, we made our prop and uh, it's pretty good. Now that you've seen us create a prop, it's time for us to see yours. Feel free to send us a video or picture of your creation. Instructions on how to submit a creation are in the link below. Make sure you click on the next video where you'll learn some cool stuff about scenic design. Make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for learning and creating with us. Have, Have a good day. day.